and we're going to let them rip all over you. Okay, let's hear this one first. This will be Beware, uh, Teenagers from Mars. You're on the record here. Let it, let it, let it spin. Out! Yeah. Misfits, coming in hard to you. Uh, now, what we got here is, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but we've been in a, a very long litigation for, oh, God, about six years. And we finally got our name back, and we're going to be coming back strong at you. Now, what we went through, the, we went through the old archives and dug up Misfits Live at Maxis, Kansas City. And it's got Glenn on vocals, Doyle on guitar. Uh, we do a version of... Blue Christmas on it. Now I ain't gonna play it for you because everybody keeps booting our stuff. So you're gonna, if you want to hear Blue Christmas, you're gonna have to go out and buy the record. Uh, but we do have some tremendous artwork. What do you think of the shirts we brought in with the uh, Christmas cool. skeleton? We got some really great uh, art misfits. going down. We got the guy from Famous Monsters, Basil Gogos, is painting all, pretty much exclusively painting all the new Misfit stuff that's coming. Really horrible stuff here. So uh, what we did was uh, we brought in the, the Max's tape for you, and we're going to play the same song, Teenagers from Mars, but this is live at Max's in 1980, all right? So, Pat, I'm sorry to cut you short. This is, happens to be my show at this oh, point. Oh, fine. So. Take over. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. Now, what do you think, Pat? Live at Max? Sounds good. When's that coming out? Well, the thing is, uh, we've got to have our first meeting with Caroline yet. We haven't had it. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to showing them the, the, the artwork we got going on this. So uh, it, it's looking real strong. It's very uh, sci-fi oriented artwork. And uh, we're hoping that it's okay by everybody, by Glenn and by Caroline, to print the lyrics. So you guys will finally get some lyrics that you've been dying for all these years. So, uh, you know, we're hoping it comes out soon. Now, the next thing we're going to play for you, uh, probably the biggest selling Misfit record on Caroline Records is The Legacy of Brutality. And it's pretty much uh, a conglomeration of all different things thrown together. But the main bulk or the mainframe of the whole album was structured from a Static Age album that was recorded in 1978. Now, uh, it's kind of funny because we have the original mix from the studio that came on cassette and we actually got the cassette here we're going to play you the first two mixes of Static Age and TV Casualty then we're going to come back and we're going to play you the same two cuts live at Max's then we're going to let Doyle talk to you and blow out some of this uh, Walk Among Us stuff alright Pat we, we're, we're trying to queue up all this monstrous machinery here you ready? this is Static Age 1978 here okay, we're WFMU East Orange, New Jersey at Uppsala College. Here with the uh, Misfits tonight. Yeah, Doyle. What's going on? What kind of stories you got to tell us? Stories? Uh, uh, when, when's the last time you guys actually played a, a show? We played a show last time, um, 1983. I think it was Halloween in Detroit. And... Uh, we had, was it? I don't know what it was. Well, we had a drummer, uh, uh, Robo left the band, and um, we, we, uh, we wanted to play with Robo or Googie. We had no drummer, so we had a show booked, and uh, Glenn got some kid from uh, California, because he had some funky haircut, and we had tried the kid out earlier, you know, maybe, ha you know, maybe a half a year before, the kid was terrible, you know. So we get down to the show, and we, we're like, Glenn, you know, let us play with Robo or Googie so we don't have to practice so we know we can play we get with this kid we don't even play with him at all we get to the show the first time we're gonna play with him is the first song so the kid gets drunk before the show alright we go to play 20 Eyes kid does, he's playing a different song we kept trying to start and start and start different song every time so I grabbed him by the neck I threw him off the stage and the drummer from the neck Rose came on and he did the set and that was it and that was the last that show. That was the last show. And that's why it was the last show. Okay. Yeah, I remember I seeing lots of shows. The, the Hitsville show, that yeah, eventually that uh, show. came out as a uh, bootleg album. Yeah, that's right. So there's, there's a lot of bootlegs. Yeah, that was a Christmas show. Yeah. Yeah. So what else are we going to hear? Uh, what do we um, got queued up? Uh, we got the live uh, Static Age and TV Casualty from Max's. Okay. Uh, which one should we play? That's uh, Whichever one, one you got in there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hey, there you go. I'd like to say hello to Brett and uh, Uncle Steve and my buddy Kyle, 
Uh, let's see. I had to say, so. and King Resin. How can I mention King Resin? He didn't listen to us last time when we were on SOU. King, you better be listening. Now, now, King Resin is pouring our models. When you come to this horror show this weekend, you're going to see my model. You're going to see Earth AD plaques that we made that we got going. We got T-shirts. We got all kinds of stuff. So you got to come down. Now, I got to give you some of the other places we're going to be at. Now, when we get out there and we start playing, we might not be able to do these things again. So if you want to come see us, and have us sign your stuff, come down, okay? We sign bootlegs. We're not going to break them in half and throw them at you or anything like that, all right? Bring anything you want. Bring, you want us to sign your dog, bring your dog, all right? We're going to be at the Chiller Convention. That's at the Meadowlands Hilton, April 21st through the 24th. That's all weekend long. That's this weekend. Next Saturday, April 30th, the KISS Convention. That's at FDU. Uh, University. May 6th is another Saturday. We're going to be at Music Man on Route 4 in Paramus. Lou, you better be ready because we're going to tear down the house. Okay, then we're going to be at the Willowbrook Mall May 20th at Comic Collectors. And then we have a show going on up in Sussex by us. A good friend of ours, Joel Gostin, is putting it on. Uh, a buddy of ours, Sardonica, is playing. He's got a really, ro really rocking band. And we're going to go down there and sign autographs for everybody up in Sussex by us and try and get a scene happening out there so there's more for you okay that's what this is all about this is more for you remember to write that down okay uh, what we got rocking now we're gonna play uh, Astro Zombies which is my personal favorite okay number yep we're on sure. a CD wanna let it rock and we'll come back King Resin <laughs> <laughs> favorite song without the skips all right so uh, well, i leave them in the car no so, uh, way they're all burnt up on cds the cds are indestructible aren't they <laughs> yeah i hear that okay what we got though we do have a take a green hell we're going to play for you now we know uh that around this area there's a lot of metallica fans now i'm sure you people probably are used to metallica playing green hell and well they do it kind of all right but you know the way I kind of figure it, this is the way it should sound. Now, if it skips, we'll come back with something better. All right, we're not going to let you listen to that. Let's take him in. And that's London Dungeon, one of the more spookiest type songs. So, uh, Pat, what's what's going? I don't know. I've I've heard over the years. I've heard all these rumors about you guys doing all these parties up in North Jersey and possible uh, uh, reunions. Were, were you able to see the glow over the hills to the north? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of nuclear parties we had. Uh, well, what we've been working on is uh, we got a lot of different things going. We went out and started building our own guitars. There was a while. Uh, if anybody has seen pictures of the Misfits, it kind of looks like we got custom made Batman type looking guitars. And we used to go out and buy the guitars through the one ad press for three four hundred bucks and then totally destroy them with a saber saw and a belt sander and all kinds of stuff and glue skulls on them and dip them in black paint not even brush it on so uh what we decided was we ran to a buddy of ours and his name's rand and he came up with some really great guitar designs and we start making them out of mahogany and maple and there's a lot of labor involved so what we decided we would do is make carbon graphite guitars so what you're going to wind up seeing is that we got these stealth type looking shapes and we're going to like swoop in on the guitar industry and dump these guitars like right in the middle of everybody's parade and uh they're uh, they're designed very well and they they sound tremendous. So we got this new rocking and rolling type sound, and uh, we got a new drummer we're working with. His name's Chud. He's here with us in the studio, hiding out over there. So we're gonna play one of his songs for taking a ride down and giving us a hand. This is called "Walking Dead" by Sacred Trash, and uh, he says it's cute. We're taking his word for it. So uh, <laughs> hit it. Okay, let's hear it. Hey, and we're back. The Misfits. Hanging in the studio with Pat. Pounding them down. On this one. Yeah, we're going to listen to Die, Die, My Darling. With Pat singing. That's right. <laughs> Live. <laughs> <laughs> All the glass will shatter in the place. We're up. And we want you to know who's going to be at the Chiller Show. So we brought a buddy of ours in here from the cemetery, John Grimm. And he's going to run past the lineup for the Chiller Show. Now, if you love the monsters and you love the gore, get down here. Here they go. This is who's there. All right, you guys ready for this? We got uh, Elvira, of course, Mistress of the Dark. 
Uh, we got Zachary the Cool Ghoul, Reggie Bannister from Phantasm, we all know the Tall Man. James Cairn, Return of the Living Dead. My favorite, Vernon Wells, Wes from The Road Warrior, can't forget the Mohawk Maniac. Gunnar Hansen, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw. Ed Neal, the Hitchhiker, and from Texas Chainsaw. Who else we got on here? Uh, mm-hmm. John Russo, writer and actor, Night of the Living Dead. Uh, what else we got? Uh, special mention, Ed Repka, the artist for the Megadeth album covers. Can't miss that. And he should be doing some real good stuff for us coming up. And, of course, Jerry and Doyle, the Misfits, the yeah. one and only. And when you come, all hell breaks loose! Er- this is for Ben from Cletus. He wants to hear Devil Lock. And we heard him on the way in coming down the parkway to come to the station. And he sounded pretty good to me. So anything Ben wants, Ben gets. All right, this is Devil Lock. Take it in. And that's for Ben. <laughs> the man. All right, we're back. We were just talking about uh, stories here on <laughs> when, whenever, at different intervals in your life when you wake up and piss blood and then you, you stand there and you say to yourself, like, what, what's wrong with the situation here? So we had, we had a couple of stories from Doyle that we couldn't put on. So, and when we had one from John Grimm, our announcer, and we couldn't put that one on either. So, <laughs> I've never pissed blood. <laughs> and uh, for those of you who never had, it is quite, quite an eye-opening experience. <laughs> All right, uh, we got one queued. I think we're doing, I forgot what we're horror doing. Business. Horror business. Now, horror business, this is an old take. Uh, this is off of the Beware record from England. This is actual vinyl, guys. You're not going to hear too much vinyl coming up in a few. One this one's to Gary Bajika. <laughs> and oh, baby egg. Model came good. I bet on you, John Grimm. All right, Sean, I, the bet is still on, King Resin. You can't run, King Resin. We're here. What's the deal with uh, Gem and the Holograms uh, versus the uh, Misfits? Was uh, there well, ever anything? Uh... Well, you know, Gem gives us a rough time on a daily basis. Now, nah, but <laughs> se- seriously, what wound up going on was that uh, Gem and the Holograms had come out, oh, I'd say maybe about two or three years after we disbanded. And I think what happens is we were real big out in the West Coast, and they were probably came up with the idea, hey, let's do Gem. They can be this goody-goody type of outfit. And they were looking for something to go up against her. And at the time, we were kind of notorious out on the west coast so i guess they figured if it worked once it would work for them again uh we did uh trademark searches and stuff and what we found out was that uh mattel i think mattel owns gem or one of those companies and what happens is they have the rights to dolls like uh, actual dolls that you would sell in uh toys or us or something like that now what we have we have what it would be what a uh a resin kit uh, of me. Actually, our first model, we started our own model company, guys. So we're going to go bang head with the Japanese for you and make you proud of us. So what happens is that uh, we went out and we made a Jerry Only model. And the Jerry Only model has like 160 metal chrome spikes that you glue on it. And a guitar with real strings. It stands almost a foot tall and it weighs about about seven or eight pounds. The thing, right? I leave. That thing's heavy. It takes almost a gallon of resin to pour it. And we're going we're gonna to have prototypes available down at the Chiller Convention over the weekend. If nothing else, come see this model because we really did put a lot of time into it. And, uh, well, actually it looks good. It doesn't even look like we did it. <laughs> Only kidding. Only kidding, Mom. <laughs> so uh, that's Gem and the Holograms. Now, we're running low. Now, now is, is Midnight... Your deadline? Midnight I mean, do we pumpkin eyes at, at That's midnight? That's right. All midnight, right, now look, we want to come back because we want to get on here and tell you some real funny stories about different people. Sounds good to and me. And I have what I call the trunk of terror, which is a uh, trunk full of bootlegs that I was forced to go buy <laughs> for my lawyers as evidence and stuff. So I have like some of the weirdest stuff that you could ever imagine. And I tell you the truth, I don't like spending that kind of money on, on vinyl or CDs. or it, It's insane. So, I mean, you know, don't think that you're doing me a favor when you go out and buy a bunch of bootlegs and pay $50 or $60. $60 for a disc, you are getting burned. So uh, what happens is I have these things, and unfortunately we can't take calls next time we're on, but we'll pick out some of the weirder stuff that's out on the market, by, not by us, but you know about us anyway, and we'll play some of that for you on Pat Show. We got one more for you for the end of the day. It's called Hate Breeders. Come to the horror. Hit it. Okay, thanks a lot for coming down. Uh, we'll see you... Uh Chiller Convention, Meadowlands Hilton.
Oh, good. Are we on? I didn't know you were yep. talking to me. All right. Well, got, got to All say, right, got to say goodbye. Man, that was cool. <laughs> All right, great. Hey, everybody come down. We got a lot of free stuff. We got a lot of new concepts in music. Come to the show. Okay, we're WFMU.